All right, we're on. And we're live. The last word. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, as you can tell, Troy Allsaker is not here with us tonight. Um, busy, busy, busy. Yeah, well, you know, a combination of being busy and being rear-ended by a vehicle today. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't this happen last year? It does seem like it happened last yeah, I, year. I think uh, he, he had to miss a show last year. If I remember right, he had to miss, miss a show, miss miss a show a last year because of an accident. What's inside that drink, by the uh, way? <laughs> you can't even see it under the banners. Can the audience see that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, we're not drinking, um, at least not yet, anyway. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Troy, uh, he says he, he went to the doctor, has a concussion. Really? A medically documented concussion. Wow. This is serious business here. I mean, And he's still know, working. And he's still at the office working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they gave him a couple of pain meds, and he said, yeah, that lasted about 30 minutes, and now his head's throbbing, and he, he just couldn't make it to the show. So. Wow. wow. Um, we'll, we'll struggle and survive without him. And there's plenty to talk about, Craig. Yes, there plenty is. Plenty to talk about. And, and not all about Troy. And not all about Troy. I might add. <laughs> um, in the world of sports, of yeah, course. Yes. Um, yes, his boys and your boys are going up against each other right now. Tangled up yep. in a little uh, duo. Yep, they're one you on know, one right now. It's interesting because if anybody has paid any attention to the Braves, and you know, I know there's a lot of Braves fans in this area. Yeah. Um, I'm not lot, one of them. But... A lot more Reds fans now. But, yes. uh, but then again, you, know, you watch the Wahoos and... You're, you can be a fan of baseball, but come on, who's a fan of the Wahoos? Give me a break. I mean, I love the Wahoos, yeah. but I mean, I don't go to the games expecting them to win. No. We're going to leave here after the show, as a matter of fact, yes, we and are. we're going to walk over and watch some baseball at that stadium. Yes, we are. And we'll but, root for them, knowing full well that absolutely. they may not win. <laughs> <laughs> the chances are they won't. <laughs> That's um, okay. But we're going to love it, and uh, there is some talent out there, and there's some talent there that will be, you know, Chris Winker will be. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be on, on an MLB somewhere, if not with the Reds, somewhere next year. Well, how, um, how many? I, I've lost track. How many uh, Wahoos are now in the bigs? There's quite a few. Yeah. I mean, uh, quite Michael a few. Lorenzen, a lot, actually. Michael Lorenzen, who pitched here, was it last, last season? Mm -hmm. He did mm -hmm. phenomenal Singrani. for the Reds. Zingrani. Zingra Zingra he's a uh, setup guy for, uh, for the Reds. Yeah. yeah. Tucker. Yep. To, oh, he, he's doing And now that Mesoraco is going to be converted to an outfielder because Which, of his hip issue. Yeah, yeah. It looks like Tucker could be the future. He could for the Reds uh, behind the plate. Yeah, yeah. He's doing quite it's well. Pretty amazing. And if they they uh, if they play their cards right, maybe uh, Skippy will move Skippy. Up there too. Skippy. Yeah. Skippy. Skippy um, if Tucker works out, actually, you know, Skippy could end up being a better catcher than Tucker he even was. Yeah. Uh, I imagine. Well, T Skippy's in AAA now. Right. So yeah. he, he'll probably never be back in double A. I, I don't well, think. Well, not with Mesoraco out. No, I, I doubt it. He, he came back because Mesoraco had a little stint yeah. back in. Yeah. But I, I think he's, he's probably on his way up for good, which, you know, it, it, it's bittersweet. I mean, he, he is fun to watch. Uh, well, just like Tucker was. Fun to uh, watch. They were amazing yeah. catchers. Yeah, uh, very talented. But I don't, I don't think he's coming back to double A. Well, and if you know the Reds franchise and you understand if you watch the Reds, every year, you understand that injuries are part of the Reds. I mean, you know, last <laughs> yeah. year you said, yeah. Yeah. give them 10 days and half the roster will be on the IR. And sure enough, there was, you know, like six injuries in the first week of baseball. Yeah. And, um, and such is life this yeah. year. Around. And that's the reason why their double-A team can never gel. They can never have any cohesion because yeah. Yeah. they're constantly calling players mm -hmm. up. And, you know, it's just the way it goes in, in, in minor league baseball. Which explains to those who don't understand baseball that well, this is why you don't see a whole lot of good players lasting a long time here in Pensacola. Mm -hmm. If they're good enough, they get called up. Yeah. So when you're looking at, 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 at minor league teams, you just expect them to lose. It, it's just the way. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't want them to have a, 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 a constant losing streak to where it diminishes their, their, um, their attitudes, their you know, the yeah, yeah, but at the same time, you know, it's 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 not that's not what it's about. It's about player yeah. development. I mean, they want to win because obviously, to support the franchise, to keep fans in the stands, you've got to win some games. Yeah, yeah. you've got to provide some entertaining baseball. And the Wahoos do a great job of um, you know everything else that they try to do that is entertaining for yeah. the kids. And it seems like you know the, it's it's been supported obviously overwhelmingly. But um, but you know you got to expect that. A lot of times, it's not going to be about the wins. It's going to be about the player development. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes I hear people in the stands yelling, yeah, pull the pitcher, he sucks. 
Well, sometimes the big boys have have said, hey, let's leave him in there and let's let him get rocked a little bit yeah, see and how see he, how he works out of it yeah. because that's important sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Um, so it's just, again, it's about player development. And you can't always just assume that, you know, everybody, the manager sucks or, or whatever just because he's not pulling out a, a pitcher after he's been rocked for four runs. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, eh, you know, fans aren't going to get that and everybody expects a win or you know or nothing and you know they're not happy with anything else but you and i appreciate it for what it is and on that note going back to what i said earlier going full circle now back to the braves <laughs> um you know i, I watch the braves this. because i enjoy i've been watching the braves since 1978 and i'm a diehard fan and i always will be but my gosh it's hard to be a braves fan these days with some of the absolute odd things that have been happening with that team um Case in point was was um, Monday night, the first game with the Padres. Doc Jacobs actually came over to my house and we watched it out by the pool. And um, the Braves are on the cusp of opening this game up. They're up three to one, and the bases are loaded. Sharp base hit up the middle. Freddie Freeman's on second base. Freddie Freeman's franchise. I mean, he is the franchise right now, pretty much. Um, starts to run to third and just doesn't look at the baseball and it clips him in the heel it was going right up the middle two runs were going to score it had been five to one it was late in the game it's probably going to be over even as horrible as the bullpen is for the braids um it was ex- probably going to be over you can expect that out of a rookie but right i mean not no watching rookie. the ball and you know in case you don't know if the ball hits a runner on the base pass off the bat the runner's out so it was out, and the inning was over. And sure enough, the next inning, the Padres uh, end up taking, you know, taking command, and they and they won the game. Um, Braves won last night, uh, and can really in a really good game. It was uh, actually they were losing five to nothing. I thought it was going to be a blowout. And the Braves <laughs> came back and won six to five. So it was yeah. pretty pretty interesting. Um, but uh, tonight they'll go at it again, and we'll see what happens. Um, a rookie pitcher for the Braves is going to be pitching, and also a younger pitcher for the Padres. So. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna down the Braves at all or or uh, San Diego because both y'all's teams um, took the Reds two to three or uh, two out of three. Yeah, yeah. the uh, Braves always seem to have the Reds number for some reason. They do. I don't know why that is, um, but you know that's the way it is in baseball with a lot of franchises and same same in any other sport. To be you know if you look at across all sports, there's certain teams that always give certain teams a fit no matter what the record is. So speaking of. Speaking of pitching, I don't know we were speaking of pitching, but speaking of pitching, yeah, uh, have, you, have you seen the new switch pitcher? Venditti, Venditti, or Venditti, Venditti, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's amazing. Yeah, he just got called back, called up, and yeah, he, pitching for the A's, he yeah. is incredible. It puts on his right hand glove, or put the put, same, it's the same, same glove, glove. It just same glove. It, it, yeah, it's whatever you want to call yeah, it. There hasn't been a switch pitcher for gosh, how many? Decades, I think it's been a long time since we had a switch pitcher. And mind you, the other night, uh, what, who were they playing? A switch pitcher up against a switch hitter. Now figure that one out. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, and the well, rule is he he had to he had to uh, declare which hand he was pitching with. Yeah. And then of course the the batter had to declare what he was. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, Isn't that funny? Yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing. Well, obviously, you'd want to declare whichever side the guy's weaker on if he's, you know, less of a power hitter or whatever. And that's left and right, the switch hitter, left and right, he was one point off. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So. <laughs> How often does that happen? <laughs> so and, he, I think he declared. Uh, I can't remember if he, which side he declared, but he declared, and uh, it was it was pretty interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. And you've had some, you know, pitchers over the years with some interesting. Obviously, your cousin, um, Mordecai. Mordecai. Mordecai Brown. If you haven't ever heard of Mordecai Brown, you should look him up. It's it's amazing. Mordecai Three um, Fingers Brown. Th- three fingers and could obviously throw yeah. a devastating 12-6. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So that's Craig's claim to fame. In fact, that's how he got a job with me. He said, "Yeah, I'm related to Mordecai Brown." I was like, hey, "You're hey. hired." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on here. What are we talking about? But uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. Switch, switch pitcher. Switch hitter, switch, switch pitcher. Yes, yeah, switch pitcher. Imagine that. Yeah, but uh, in, in, other, in other sporting news, the NHL playoffs, the NBA playoffs, nobody likes to re- – in fact, I don't know anybody that's really watching the NBA right now. I think people are just kind of over the NBA for the most part. Yeah. But I got to say, this particular matchup is really intriguing. And it's interesting because you have Cleveland 
You have Le LeBron James, who has revitalized. Cle I mean, he, he brought Cleveland to what, what they were for a few years. Yeah. He dumped them for Miami, and now he goes back to them. And once again, <laughs> just like that, they're in the finals. I mean, you have to say it's pretty impressive for him. And, and every commentator is saying it's all about LeBron. LeBron is is basketball. Well, you know, and it's not anymore. And that's that's what's so interesting about this entire matchup. Steph Curry for the Golden State Warriors, who they're playing, is in my opinion the future of NBA basketball. This guy is unbelievable. And if anybody watched the game last night, you'll understand what I mean. He was, in fact, the last couple of games he's not been shooting very well. But in the fourth quarter, he just he takes the ball and. He's throwing up three pointers like I've never seen in my life. I mean, I, I I can't go. I can't think of any player in the history of the NBA that just from any spot on the court is throwing up threes like he was Larry and Bird. making them. I, Not since I, Larry. No, Bird. I mean Larry Bird was a different kind of player than Steph Curry, but I'm talking about a shooting guard type player like like Steph Curry. Mm. You can't go back to um, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would get hot, don't get me wrong. Jordan's the best of all time. I think nobody would even argue that. But, um, but this guy is something special. And he really, to me, is the only reason why the Golden State Warriors are in this at this point. Without him, they, I don't even think they make the playoffs. He's phenomenal. He's, he's something to watch. And it's intriguing to watch him and LeBron going at it because um, both of them have a very, very uh, a huge desire to win. Obviously, LeBron wants it for the, really, I think, really, truly does want it more for the, for the city of Cleveland, state of Ohio, more than anything. I really do believe that. I think that that is his sole purpose. And uh, you being from Ohio, me being from Ohio, you know, yeah. it, not that I'm a huge Ohio fan for anything anymore, but, um, but I certainly would love to see the, the people of Ohio, let's face it, they have nothing else. <laughs> I mean, why do you live in Ohio? <laughs> Dare why I say, do you live in Ohio? O H. -I -O. <laughs> you 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 live in Ohio for Ohio State University, and let's face it, they're good in sports. And you you live there, you know, for the off chance that the Cavaliers or the Indians might actually do something, but because uh, the Browns, I forget about it. No. But um. Anyway, so it's been really good. You know, talking about hockey, um, great, great NHL playoffs. And I know a lot of people out there, fans like me, even in this area, it's, it's surprising. There's a really big base of the really fans with the ice, ice flyers. Um, that's the only thing I can attribute it to is the ice Yeah, flyers. well, I'm a converted hockey fan because of the ice flyers, what was the ice pilots, that you know, inaugural season in 1996. I couldn't have cared less about, about hockey in 1996, but I went to a couple games for the Ice Pilots and I was hooked. And I've loved hockey ever since. I don't sit and watch hockey all season long, but come the playoffs, especially the, uh, the finals, it's, it's always interesting to watch. There's a lot to play for, a lot of you know, history and the lore with the uh, Stanley Cup and having your name on that cup forever etched in, in, in history. But, um, but the Tampa Bay Lightning, you know, who would have thought Knocks off the Detroit Red Wings, the, the, uh, the legacy of hockey. I would never have guessed. And Not here they are in the years. finals, and, and I mean, they have a legitimate chance to win this whole thing. I mean, yep. They are a solid, solid hockey team. I, I suppose if the Houston Ast Astros can be a number one in the division, they can. There must be a full moon all year this year, folks. we got to go to a commercial break. We'll be back in just a minute. Stay with us. Hello, I'm Mark Downey, a licensed broker in Alabama and Florida. When it comes to surveys and boundary determination, I don't take chances with just anyone. I call Mark Sweeney and Associates, and not just because we share the same name, more so because I know that my survey will be done professionally and on time, both of which are very important factors when navigating a closing for a client. Whether you need a simple survey or just want to know if your neighbor's fence is encroaching on your land, Sweeney is the team to call. Give them a call today. Hi, my name is Mark Downey. Things can get crazy in the real estate business, which is why I use Surety Land Title for my escrow closings. They ensure that all paperwork and documentation is properly executed and that there are no glitches in the closing process. Whether you're a realtor, broker, or simply a homeowner or buyer looking for a great team of professionals to utilize for your closing, I strongly suggest Surety Title. Call them today at 549-2270. Considering selling in this economy? Have questions about short sales or how to avoid a foreclosure? 
Regardless of what you're facing, I can help with the best advice available. I have a 100% successful closing record on short sales and thus have helped many avoid foreclosure. For others, I have helped achieve the income they need to be able to maintain their home as a rental property. Don't trust your home sale to just any friend or neighbor who might have a license. Call Pensacola's number one agent. All right, we're back. Thanks for staying with us. Um, you know, we're talking about during the break the Astros and how <laughs> yeah. unbelievable that is. Or did we say that before the break? No, I can't remember. Um, but but uh, anyway, yeah. Baseball is uh, unbelievable. very interesting this year. A lot of parody. And, you know, you have a couple teams that are really doing well and then a lot of parody. I mean, the Braves are two games under 500, and they're three, I think, three games out of first place. Yeah. Who would have thought, you know, 60 games into the season. Race. But it's probably going to be like that all season long. Anyway. Which makes it interesting. Craig, we got to pay the bills. All right, let's pay let's the bills. Let's talk about some real estate here, folks. The market's starting to move at the rate w which we'd like to see. Um, unfortunately for our rental side, I say unfortunately, it seems like everybody decided to move at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my poor office yeah. staff, they're at wit's end. I got girls ready to kill me, you know, they're throwing stuff in the office, they're going crazy, people are moving yeah. in and out, but it's Be controlled chaos. Be being the inspector, I get to stay away from it quite a lot, just uh... Except for today, when I brought you into the mix. <laughs> yeah. Well, every once in a while, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta throw some fun your way, you know? <laughs> but anyway, we do have some listings to show you, and I'm not sure, okay, yeah, they're, they're ready to go, I mean, these guys are on it! Man. Alright, this is our first listing, and um, we just reduce the price of this home and it's been on the show a couple times now and this is an absolute gorgeous house right off of 98 in the uh, Paradise Beach Circle area pretty to bay um, beautiful home detached two-car garage with a what could be like a um, a loft above the garage or whatever and do you even have pictures of that I, think I, I know I need to do I need to do pictures of that I don't it know why I don't have them on. we need to get them on the show if hopefully it's sold by the next show but anyway this is a gorgeous house again and I always say this, please check out our website, 941home.com. We cannot show you all the pictures we have. We don't have enough time. But we have a lot of, a lot of pictures that you can look at on all our listings. And I like to believe that we, uh, we try to present some very nice pictures other than uh, what some, some other competitors do, which is take a picture showing their rearview mirror or their side mirror in, in, the, in the picture because they don't even bother to get out of the car. We try to put some nice pictures out there for you to look at and uh, certainly check out our website. All right, the next listing, 1915 Crown Point Boulevard. This is in the uh, preserve at uh, Crown Point subdivision. It's a gated subdivision on the west side. Actually, that is not, not the not picture the for the house. <laughs> we got it jumbled in, uh, yeah, we're moving right along, I guess. <laughs> 1984 Crown Point Boulevard. This is a uh, four bedroom, three bath, 3140 square feet. 497 is the price, and this is an absolute masterpiece of a home. And really, the, the, the Paradise Beach Circle and this home both are, are just total custom built homes. Amazing features. Do we have interior shots, guys, or are they all kind of jumbled up tonight? Here's, a, here's the foyer. We'll take what we can get. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. It's okay. We can work with this, you know? <laughs> um, this home, again, check out the website. I even have video on this one, a video tour. Um, but this is an absolute gorgeous house. It is vacant now. It's ready for you to move into. Um, we could get you in this house and uh, close on this in no time. Beautiful, stunning house, really. And uh, again, in the preserve at Crown Point, gorgeous gated subdivision on Perdita Bay, as well as it has a stocked, and I repeat, stocked fish lake in the back. Really? Uh, you say it's still vacant? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's catch and release, Craig. Ah. It's catch and release. Sorry, you're not going to have bass for dinner tomorrow night. Um, the next house, 1253 La Paz Street. This is also Perdita Bay. I just listed this home. This is an unbelievable home. Um, actually right down the street from my house. Three bedrooms, three bath, 2,080 square feet is the uh, living square footage. Plus it has a little bit of a uh, bonus room downstairs that um, you could use for a game room or something like that. Nice dock, needs a tiny bit of work to the dock to get it in complete functional condition, but uh, 425 is the price on this. I don't think it's 425.5, I think it's just 425. I mean, you know, we'll just go ahead and knock that 500 bucks off for you today, you know. Call it an, an internet special. <laughs> it's a Wednesday, Wednesday deal. A Wednesday special, yeah, <laughs> thank you. But um, it's a beautiful home. Man, we're going back to Crown Point Boulevard again. Yeah, I like this, hey. man. This is whimsical and fun and exciting. Got to come back to it, it's a nice house. <laughs> and you know, this is a nice house for, at a great price. 
in a subdivision where most of the homes are three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars, and you can get into this home for two twenty-five. Beautiful home inside, um, great condition, and uh, you know twenty-one seventy square foot. It's a nice size home, but it's not too big. You don't have to clean it constantly. But four bedrooms, two bath will certainly get the job done for you. All right, the next listing is. Drum roll, back to 1253. <laughs> no, back to 1915. This is exciting, guys. Um, and there's, and the, there's gate. the gate. There's the gate. Right. The entrance for uh, the preserve. Yeah, I mean. You took a nice picture. Yeah, thank you. That's, Settler's that's Colony. Nice, yeah. wasn't it? Um, Settler's Colony. This is Gulf Breeze. And we just put this one on the market. I don't expect this one to last very long. And you'll see why in a minute when you see the interior pictures. Gorgeous house, in ground pool. Um, great location in Gulf Breeze. Um, high ceilings, you know, you know, you've got the stone fireplace, very nice. Um, this is a gorgeous house, and again, you know, Gulf Breeze is the place people really... They do not they, last They long. do not last long, they just, mm -hmm. they gobble them up quickly. So if you're looking for the Gulf Breeze area, this is a great, great purchase. And let's see if we have any more pictures. Hopefully we have that pool. There, there we, we go. go. There she is. Screened in. I think the hot tub might even still be there. So uh, might be a freebie. All right, um, moving along to Deck Lane. This is the north side of Pensacola. Three bedroom, two bath, 2,200 square feet of living, $187,000. Beautiful home in great condition, once again, as always. And um, there we go, interior pictures. Love the, uh, the floating plant ledge, if you will, dividing off the uh, den or the office or the dining room, whatever you want to use it for. Beautiful kitchen. And uh, archways on the uh, columns there, nice size backyard. And uh, the next one, Castle Point Way. This is back in Crown Point, but this is uh, the front section of Crown Point. And this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,800 square feet, $150,000. Again, great condition, beautiful little home. If you're looking for something affordable, yet very, very nice, great condition, this is definitely it. And uh, there's a master bedroom. The next house, all the way on the south side of town, 5427 Magritte's. And you know, some people love their Magritte's. They love their Magritte's. And if you do, yeah. this is the house for you. I mean, wake up and make yourself some Magritte's. Yeah. I don't know. That was stupid. <laughs> uh, three bedroom, two bath, 1,200 square feet, 125. Look at the backsplash on this. I mean, look at the granite. Look at the tile floors. 125,000. This, this is a beautiful home, and it's a great price. Screen in back porch. Um, and it is right by the. Uh, uh, Big Lagoon State Park. You can literally just walk right across to it. Really? Great location right off Gulf Beach Highway. Nice. 913 Barclay Street, four bedroom, three bath, 3150 square feet, and this is a rental. 1650 a month for this beautiful home, and I do mean beautiful. Uh, 3100 square feet of living it's, it's, yeah, is, uh, that's, that's what my kids call beast mode. <laughs> yeah. Big that's house. Nice home. Honestly, though, it doesn't feel too big when you get inside. You know, really? Yeah, it's, it, it's very well laid What out. if I want it to feel big? Well, then you're out of luck. Oh, okay. All right, 2261 Americus Avenue, four bedroom, three bath, 2200 square feet, 1395. This is also a really nice house. Great location just off Gulf Beach Highway. A nice bright white kitchen and uh, very spacious. Actually, this is a home, conversely, Craig, that I think lives bigger than it feels at 2200 square feet. Yeah. So, well, I have to agree with you. It does feel a lot bigger in there than that. Uh, that that surprised me. It's only 22. I've been in the house several times, and it's it, it does feel very spacious. Yeah, it's a nice house. Yeah. All right, the next one, 3435 Holt Circle, three bedroom, two bath, 1900 square feet, 1395. This is a really cool house. I love this house. The yeah. wraparound porch. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Sit out there in the afternoon, the breeze you know, blowing through my mm -hmm. hair. Wait, I don't have any hair, never mind. <laughs> my uh, arm hair. Wait, I don't have any arm hair. Just That's it's blowing on my face, okay? And I'm drinking lemonade. <laughs> it's hardwood floors. This is a really pretty place. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Next house, 7915 North Point. If you're looking for Northeast Pensacola, everybody always says, I need Northeast Pensacola. We don't have a lot. We only have maybe 30, 40, and they're always rented. And when they come available, they list or they rent just like that. Well, here we go, folks. Brand new on the market. Four bedroom, two bath, 2,400 square feet. This is a nice size wow. house. It is nice. 1350, great condition. Um, nice size backyard, screen and porch. The playground does not come with it, unfortunately. Sorry, Craig. Wow. I know you're going to go over there and swing tomorrow. Yeah, but, uh, I was planning on it. I know, I know. All right, last or 
I don't know if this is the last one, actually. 333 Arabian Drive, three-bedroom, two-bath. This is in the Lake Charlene area. 1650 square feet, 1050 Very affordable rent for a beautiful home. And 5308 Arrowhead Drive Road, sorry. Three-bedroom, one-bath, 1350 850 a month. Which is also very close to Big Lagoon State Park. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a cute little house, too, man. Really nice condition. And uh, one of our more affordable rentals. We don't have many under 1000 and uh, that's one of them. So um, yeah, so check out our listings online if you'd like, 941home.com. You can check out Troy's listings as well at troyallsaker.com. If you so choose, actually, I shouldn't throw him a bone since he's not here, but <laughs> he's a good guy, you know. He won't, he's got a concussion. He won't remember anyway. So. Yeah, he won't remember. <laughs> anyway, we're about to head to the ball game. And uh, if you're out there watching this live, please join us. Come over and say hi. Craig will buy you a beer. No. no, he won't, actually. He's not even 20. Now without a raise. Now without a raise, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're getting this signal that that's it, Craig. So uh, for, for Craig Brown, I'm Mark Downey. That is the last word. We'll see you soon.